hi friends welcome to our channel so in case if you are new to our channel so please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that you will be getting the notification so once i upload the new videos so friends in this video we are going to discuss about some of the mcq questions uh, from strings topic so first let us see our first code you can look at my code i have a class my class so here i have declared a variable string s equal to high so already we know that actually it is not a variable string is a predefined class from java.lang package so here s is the reference of string type and how is the string object i am assigning string object to the reference called yes so finally don't forget uh, friends so string is not a data type in java so string is a predefined class from java.lang package so finally yes is the reference it is pointing a string object hi and inside this main method i am trying to display the value of yes i am trying to display the value of string reference yes but if you look at the code easily you can identify why it will throw the compile time error so the reason is i have declared this string in a class code without static keyboard which means it is going to become a instance property if i want to access instance property of any class then i need to create a object of this class so for example i have declared this string as a instance property of my class which means if i want to access this string property or if i want to access this instance property so at first i need to create object of my class and then i can say object dot yes but here i am trying to call directly without using object so which mean this property must be a static so obviously already we know that static property can run without object so now since it's a non static property i need to create a object so that's why this particular line it will throw the compile time error so we'll move the next question so the next question you can consider i have declare and initialize three strings so string s1 equal to new string of hello and string s2 equal to new string of 3 and i am initializing a empty string i am initializing empty string so now i need to identify which are the following or legal operation in case of java string so already we are familiar in case of java only the plus operator can overload so in our c++ programming so we have a we have a separate concept operator overloading but coming to java there is no operator overloading but in case of string only this plus operator can overload and it can perform string concatenation so finally only the first operation is a valid one i can say is yes, string s3 equal s1 plus s2 nothing but concatenation of s1 and s2 so only the first operation is a valid one so remaining all will throw the compile time error so finally option a is the correct answer now so hope it's clear so now we'll move the next question so the next question is related to immutable object so already we know that coming to java string is a predefined class from 
java.lang package and string objects are by default immutable so very simple term i can say coming to java strings are immutable object so immutable in the sense i cannot modify but if i try to modify instead of updating the same memory it will take a new memory so finally strings are immutable object in java which means if i try to modify the string content git will not be updating the same memory always whenever i am performing any string updation or manipulation always it will be taking a new memory so that will call this string immutable functionality right uh, you might be already familiar about uh, string buffer but string buffers are mutable object right maybe later you can uh, explore uh, string buffer or maybe in our upcoming videos maybe we'll see the difference between uh, string as well as string buffer so finally coming to java strings are immutable object so which means if i try to manipulate my string it will be taking a new memory so now let us keep that point in our mind now welcome to this code i am declaring a string s equal to java so now java is the string object it is pointed by a reference called s s is the reference it is pointing object java so now i am trying to manipulate string content s s dot content of world so now because of this line what will happen because of immutable object because of immutable object when i try to modify this content it will be taking a new memory so finally java will be one memory and after concatenation i will be getting a new string called java world that will be in another memory new memory but what about my reference my reference is pointing my old object yes i have been reassigned over here i have been reassigned over here i'm just trying to convert s with world so finally i will be getting a new string called java world but it is not pointed by any reference yes i haven't assigned with any reference so finally in the third line after concatenation i am trying to display the value of yes s is pointing what java so finally it will be displaying java i have three option which is starting with java so now i need to concentrate on the next part so what is my current content of reference yes it is java so now again i am trying to perform s dot concat so nothing but java dot concat world so now because of this line again i will be getting a new memory in that new memory java world will be there so that i am assigning to the reference called yes now the reference yes is pointing this new content called java world so now if i display yes it will be displaying java world so in the first time because of third line it is displaying java and because of fifth line it will be displaying java world so finally our output will be option b is the right one java java world so hope uh, friends we are clear about what is immutable right so finally don't forget coming to java strings are predefined class from java.lang package and by default string objects all are immutable object now we'll move the next question so now again it is related to immutable functionality 
So I have a string S1 with small abc. I have a string S2 with small def. So now what I am going to, I am going to concentrate on my third line. So first it will execute the parent bracket part. Nothing but S2 will become uppercase. So I am saying that S2 dot 2 uppercase. So now the S2 def will become capital. And since we are already familiar, strings are immutable object, which means this capital def will be taking a new memory. It is not modifying S2 content. Still my S2 is pointing small def. So because of this S2.2 uppercase, in the new memory, I will be getting a capital def. So that value I am going to convert with S1. S1 is what? ABC. Small ABC. So that I am assigning to S3. Assigning to the new reference S3. So now the value of S3 will be small ABC capital DEF. And I am trying to display all the three string variable S1, S2 and S3. So what is the value of S1? It is small ABC. I have two options. What is the value of S2? Is small def. What is the value of S3? S3 is S1 dot convert, nothing but small abc and S2 dot 2 uppercase, nothing but capital def. So finally, option A will be the correct answer. So hope it's clear friends. So we'll move the next question. So the next question is related to dot equals method and double equal operator. So in string class, we have a method equals. So this equals method will check the content of two string for example i'm trying to compare s1 dot equals of s2 and we know that by default java is case sensitive so finally this equals method also case sensitive what is the content of s1 capital j and ava java and s2 content also same so finally this s1 dot equals s2 is going to compare the content since i have a same content it is going to display true for the dot equals method comparison. So now I need to identify what will happen in case of double comparison. Actually, when we are comparing two reference by using double equal operator, it will check the memory location. So this double equal operator will return true if both reference are pointing same memory. Else it will be returning false. I am repeating the point once again. When we are comparing two object or reference by using double equal operator. So it will be compare the memory location. If both are pointing the same memory location then I will be getting true else I will be getting false. So now we will look at the declaration of my string. I am initializing my string object by using new keyboard. So in case in Java whenever I am trying to create any object by using new keyboard always it will be taking a new memory or new space from the heap memory during runtime. So I am repeating again. So this new keyboard will allocate a new memory or new space from the heap memory. So finally, maybe the content is same. In both case S1 and S2, in both case, 
the contents are same even though bias of this new keyword it will be taking a new memory so finally the first object will be in the separate memory and second object will be in another memory so both will be in the different memory so finally s1 is pointing memory x and s2 is pointing memory y so now if i compare by using double equal operator since both are pointing two different location two different memory location it will be returning false so finally our correct answer will be option b for the equals method comparison since i have a same content it will be returned true but for the double equal operator comparison we as of two different memory it will be returning false so hope it's clear friends so we will discuss uh, some more uh, mcq uh, question uh, in the next video so thanks friends for watching this uh, video if you like this video so please subscribe and click on the bell symbol and also you can share it with your friends